big gator, dude, big gator. We're looking for 45 plus inch gators in the US. Oh my oh gosh, my. that's a gator, oh, that's a gator. gator. It's just unbelievable how fat these pike are out here. And folks, welcome back to day three of our search for America's biggest pike. Yep, we are back in the 21 foot river boat. Uh, this boat is sick. What is this thing anyway? SJX. Big ol', this thing's like meant for, I don't know, a tank, it's a tank. Yeah. This is a 21 foot jet drive that we can go anywhere on the river. Yep. Uh, anyhow, let's uh, move on to today's activity. Yep. Well, today we're faced with the absolute best conditions we've had so far. It's not been ideal fishing yep. conditions as of yet. No wind today, nice and warm. Ooh, man. That's what we want. <laughs> this is the kind of day that I've cover. slayed them yep. on the rivers for yep. sure. White sky equals fish, usually in my book. Yep. So we're just gonna get to the first spot here and uh, start chucking. All right, folks, what do we got in the Lakewood monster today? We can fit the monster in this boat. This is a giant boat. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, Trilogy Spinnerbait again. We're fishing pretty shallow water, so I can buzz that through the sand flat here. Had some action on that the other day on the river, so give that a whirl. Robbie, what do you got rolling? Got the micro dragon. That worked pretty good in dirty water. Oh yeah, they were liking that thing too. That thing got a lot of action. No, got her? Yep. You're on? Yep. Okay. Good one. First cast. First cast. Not a giant, but. But it is a good It is. On the deuce in the dirty water. That was a problem. Can you bag her up. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Well, hey, we'll just let her fight a little more. We don't want it too angry in the net. Okay, let's get her before she up there good good well Chris good thing we uh, stopped here we were literally just gonna pull up and uh, hit a different spot and first cast on this spot we got a nice chunky fish in, in the in the boat on the Medusa on the Medusa too that these fish the, are so fat so fat that's unbelievable it's ridiculous what does one of these 40 inches look like that's we'll what we gotta do and get her back oh. all right oh, first fish of the day I kind of like that first cast uh, on a spot deal. That was oh. that was well done. And that on the blue deuce, nonetheless. Well, as fishing would have it, um, we have tried three of Chris's best spots and yep. one nibble. One pike that obviously the Medusa just landed on its face and that was it. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> but, well, I don't know how many hours have we put in yet. Probably three or four and it's just not looking good. It's a whole different water color than what we had the day before or two days before. They've let out a bunch of water. The water's the highest Chris has ever seen it here and that's a major concern and yep. it seems to be uh, affecting this dramatically. Yeah. So, you, we need yeah. to make a move. Yeah, so... Uh, I think we're gonna go to a lake and uh, try that out. Get out of the current and uh, maybe maybe there's something else that we can try, I don't know. We gotta do something, but it's time to make some big moves. Let's do something here. Let's just leave the net covered up. What do you think? We're gonna leave the net covered. Robbie's got a spoon on and well, I've got my spinning rod and a white X-wrap. Can you tell what mode we're in, folks? We are in the mode of desperation. We absolutely need a nibble. 
The spoon worked yesterday. It worked. Water is quite clear on our new destination lake. Here goes nothing. Got him. I'm on. I'm on. That's a, that's a smallmouth. Why not? Why not? Why is a smallmouth on this spot? And why is he eating? Why is he a eating a tear devil? Alrighty. Nine casts in, we got a smallmouth on a one ounce spoon. So, uh, I don't know. We're I don't, making moves here. If there's a smallmouth here, there's got to be a pike here. Whoa, what's happening there? Look, he's eat, trying to eat my line. He saw that, the line. Like, you know, where it goes in the water. He was he was all over that surface. Oh my gosh, can you imagine poppers right now? I'm going to be entertained here. I'm just curious what they'll do. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I see them out on top up there. Okay, I'm above the wood. You can just come out and do something. Ah, I'm on. All right. That's a good one too. Holy cow. Well, we're gonna abandon the, the pike just for a moment here. There is tons of nice small jaws chasing up our offering. You start catching fish and then Mr. Pike's gonna come along and thinks he's gonna take your popper. And he's not. He's got a mouthful of hooks. What a great bite, that was so cool. This clear water, you can see them. They're actually like cruising around on the surface out here. And uh, they wouldn't even look at that X-Wrap hardly at all, but this popper, they seem to like that thing. Let's see if I can do that without tearing them up there. Nice, healthy, small jaw. Okay, not target, but we can have fun for a couple minutes, can't we? Thing is a chunk. Looks like he's have, feeding well. Are these man-made wood or no? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my gosh! Don't even do anything. Oh, can you get me around this, Robbie? Or fish, can you get me around this? That was crazy. The bait pretty much just lands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These things, this is crazy. Wow. I'll take a few minutes before of this. Look at that. <laughs> That's like a three and a half pounder. As soon as that popper hit the water, the thing came flying absolutely out of the water. Sick! Chris, I know we are smallmouth fishing. What, what is this? Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Lee's having some fun with top water here. Um, it's time for the mini chopper to get rocking here. Got the, got the rigged chopper. Let's see, first cast. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got oh, him. come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. And the mini chopper. Woo. I'm just going to get him in. That's so cool. That's a nice fish. Woo. <laughs> All right. That thing just slammed that chopper. That's so cool. Careful, uh, man. I, I hold you. He's kind of green. Look at that. Big musky top water for smallmouth small bass. Figured, at least getting them on top water, why not this one? How cool is that? <laughs> That's so awesome. I mean, I'm betting that these fish have never seen baits before, so this might be uh, one heck of a night. <laughs> well guys, that is actually one of my first fish on the John B rigged chopper, mini chopper. Um, yeah, if you if you bass fish a lot, might be a bait to try, who knows? But that is so sick. They love this timber, that is just crazy. So fun. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smaller one? Yep, smaller one, smaller one. Okay. Yep. There, this is way too fun. Chris, you have not seen anything like this, have you? <laughs> nice little smallie. And the mini chopper. Oh, oh, oh. got him. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, there's another one following it. He's following it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh, come on, come on, get him. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Oh my 
gosh, that would have been so sick. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh my gosh! I'm a double Dude, up. Oh, oh, I dang it, that's all right. That was hilarious. Well, I yeah, that worked. Wow, we got the top water strike. Holy cow, was that cool? Doubled up. Oh. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Another one on the chopper. Wow, we almost, that was almost really cool, but hey, that works. Oh, pike, 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 pike. Oh, pike, pike, pike. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, that just wasn't going to happen. 32? 32, 33? They're yeah. coming in, maybe. Oh, my gosh. He yeah. jumped over. Oh, my gosh. That was ridiculous as well. Whoa, that's a nice one. Okay, we're off. Oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a nice fish that was swirling in I'm kind of glad I brought one spinning rod. Look, he's got buddies. Come on, get two hooked up. Two, two, two. Come on, you bite the bait. It's sticking out. Get it, get it. You know you want to get. Look at him. <laughs> what do you got there, he says? What do you got? Come on, let me catch two at once. That would just be awesome. I've done it probably half dozen times, but oh, oh he's oh he, <laughs> he looked at that chopper. This is just insanity, smallmouth fishing. Wow, I've never seen it quite like this. Other maybe Canada. Nice fish. Oh, I got oh. What's happening? Oh, big, big, nice big pike. pike. Come on. Oh, God dude. dang it. It hit it twice. Whoa. Oh, it's still here. He's still here. Oh my gosh. Still here, still here. Finally, first sight of a pike. And it's acting like a muskie. <laughs> that thing's gonna get a hit. Gonna, gonna bite. He's still around, he's gonna hit this thing. Finally, I got hit twice and it came in. I pulled my bait out of the water and it was still here. Robbie, don't pull your bait out of the water. <laughs> he's like a musky. Yeah. Oh, he's here. He's still here. He's looking at it. Oh my gosh, he's still here. These pike have never seen lures. I guarantee it. He's, they have never seen. Oh, he's still here. I'm going to do the sink. Come on. Oh my gosh. He's going to bite it. Look at that. It's a nice fish. That was in, dude, that's insane. I've never seen a pike at the boat that long. Hanging around? Like hanging around a bait and another bait. <laughs> that was insane. Come on, I'm like shaking right now. I'm not even kidding. I mean, that was a nice fish. Yeah, he is. Yep, I just saw him. How big a fish got? Like 33, yeah. four. Okay, I'm, throw, I'm just gonna cast because there might be like four more of them out there. Oh yeah. Ah, I missed him. There we go. He's oh, he's coming. I got him. I saw that. Video. That was ridiculous. I'm like, oh, I'll reel back and throw it out there again. No, uh, he's just going to eat it. <laughs> just let him catch it. They'll eat it. Wow. Crazy cool. Look, Mom, I caught one. Oh, got that one. That one nibbled on it. What do I have, two on here? What are you doing? You're hooked weird or something. If anyone's curious, the rig I'm using here, this is uh, seven, what is this one? Seven, one. Medium heavy. Shimano Corrado rod, got 20 pound braid because it is my lighter pike fishing setup. Well, that one's a totally different color. Look at that. Yeah, I got 20 pound braid on there, size 2,500 reel. And, uh, and Robbie's got a smallmouth eating a spoon on top. 
Okay, let's go try to find some pike. Oh my gosh, that was a good, that's a good one. Oh, that's a gator. Look at that. <laughs> I found the pike, guys. Really oh, giant. boy. Not quite the caliber we're looking for, but hey, we have found a gator. And he has found that lure. <laughs> That's for sure. That bait is in there. We have obtained the correct species, but it's a little deformed. It's too short between the head and the tail. Let's fix that. Oh my oh gosh, gosh, that's a gator. Oh, big, that's a gator. gator. That's a big gator. Oh, yeah. oh gosh, on the chopper. On the chopper. Oh, oh my gosh. The bag, oh my got gosh, the bag. don't get in the timber. Don't get in the timber. Oh man. Oh, okay, it's not as big as we thought, but we're going to take it right now. Oh man, that, that was, that was so eat. cool though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. And right, she's off. We're off. That's how you do it. That's how we do it. Let's just show the bait right away. <laughs> it's awesome timber. Thought we'd be small in and got a got a nice pike on the mini chopper. Well, that was exciting. That was a little bit bigger of a blow up than uh, the old smallmouth, but oh, that is so cool. What a fun hit. I thought it was a lot bigger, but hey, after today, we'll take it for sure. Let's come back. You can go now. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey buddy. There you go. We just got back into a creek. Um, maybe there's more. If there's that size, why not a 40 incher? Okay, the mini chopper set up for the day on a Corrado 75 Heavy with a Corrado 200 high gear. That was a fun fight on this setup. Yeah, what is that? No, there's somebody else back there though. That's just a, another scrapper. Fun though. Oh my gosh. Robbie, you are the number one angler of today's angler I've ever seen. <laughs> Robbie, you just uh, caught a limb, didn't you there? One more smally fatty. Looks like there's a hot fishing line and tree bite on spoons right now. Get them while it's hot. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a good one too. Three times the charm. Oh, look at them all. He's got friends. He's got plenty. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're right there. Okay, we're going to hoist. You're gonna be nice. How cool was that? That was still fun. Hey, you know what? Looking for pike, not finding them. You take what you can get sometimes. Well, the bad news is we are unfortunately done fishing with Chris these three days. Yep. yep. It was cool. Hey, I got my biggest casting pike. Thank you, Chris, so yep. much for the invite. Um, North Dakota, what a cool place. And, I mean, to stumble on to an incredible, I don't know, night of smallmouth fishing. You know? Yeah, that really <laughs> definitely saved our butts. That was yep. pretty extravagant action, I yep. would say. Top water fishing. That was, that was so cool. With musky baits, even. Yep, yep. So that was fun. Well, all that means, Robbie, is we have to come back out here. Yep. And uh, Chris has given us the invite to come back out this fall. This is actually yeah. the earliest you've ever done this. Mm -hmm. Earliest, yep. So uh, we usually start in September and work through end of October. Yeah, yep. And that's when those mega giants show up. So maybe that's what we'll have to do. Come back and uh, hopefully stick some bigger fish. So obviously you've seen the big ones that uh, this guy catches. Um, yep. uh, Chris does not guide for these fish, but he <laughs> knows somebody that will yep. uh, that yep. will put you on these giant North Dakota gators. Uh, and we'll leave that information of that gentleman. What's his name? Kellen Latin Dress. All right. Latin okay. Dress Guide Service. Right on. Put that down in the description, of course, for you guys to give him a buzz and uh, possibly get out and catch the pike of your life. This is Canadian class pike right in the U.S. You can just drive right out here 
and come catch these yeah, fish. Cool. They're here, man. They are here. Guys, thank you so much for watching this series. It was fun to shoot, fun to be in different country, and, um, well, I guess different states. Uh, yeah. well, it's different. It's country. It's country, okay. <laughs> uh, we're, not com we're not completely done with this trip. We've got a couple, couple. other places we might stop on the yeah. way home, so, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.